Hey y'all! Welcome to the 10th episode of Space Telescopes, a fully dedicated series for tweets and observations from space. All the links to source images, videos, and articles are available in description. We are glad to announce that, Astronomia Expounded is now at 77 subscribers, someone sneaked in during the editing process. A warm welcome to all new subscribers. Let's enjoy exploring astronomy together. Don't forget to leave your suggestions in the comment section. And much thanks to Real Politic Santa for pointing out the mistake in Space Telescopes Episode 6. In the ESA Hubble section, I was constantly mentioning neutron stars, while the tweets were actually about white dwarfs. Also, one of our biggest hits so far, Web Telescope Fast Facts video, has achieved 2.5k views and is still going. Thanks to all those who watched and shared. Also, we had a few discussions in the comment section, and we welcome more such discussions. Without further delay, let's get into this video. NASA Universe If you were to count all the grains of sand from all the beaches on Earth, you would still be short of total number of stars in the universe. Do you like candy? Here is one, spotted among the stars by Hubble Telescope. Probably a white dwarf, that's wrapped up by the gaseous shell, expelled by the star. Yummy! Hubble ESA Hubble observed an A-type star, HD 141569A, which gave astronomers clearest view to this date of a circumstellar disk, around a 5 million years old star, 320 light years away. A-type stars live around for 1 billion years, meaning this star is at 5% of its total lifespan. The image on left is captured by Hubble, while the one on right is a simulation of its overhead view. The GLAM model, posing for ESA Hubble calendar for the month of November, is Galaxy LRG 3817, distorted by gravitational lensing. Do you spot it? It is the long arc, covering to the left of central galaxy. Latest Hubble picture of the week is an elegant spiral galaxy, NGC 6984, in the constellation Indus, roughly 200 million light years away. This image was captured following a rare event of double supernovae, using Hubble's Wide Field Camera 3, in an attempt to find if the supernovae were linked. Hubble Space Telescope Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead, is a holiday honoring the dead, in Mexico. This supernova remnant, N63A, captured by Hubble resembles marigold flower, which is used to commemorate the Day of the Dead. N63A is a member of star-forming region N63, located in Large Magellanic Cloud. The cosmic lightsaber we saw in earlier episodes, HH24, is now available as 3D flythroughs made from real Hubble images. During the last week of October, Hubble once again entered into safe mode. The NASA team investigating this issue, is now trying to bring back, Hubble's Advanced Camera for Surveys, ACS, online as a first step to continue the science operations. This image, captured by Hubble's Wide Field Camera 2 in 1995, shows a supernova remnant named N132D. It is located 169,000 light-years away in the Large Magellanic Cloud. The blue-green filaments are oxygen-rich gas, ejected by the star at 4 million miles per hour, or 2,000 kilometers per second. As the ejecta collides with dense interstellar gas, shown in red, the shockwave heats them up causing the filaments to glow. Hubble NASA Hubble greets us with Nebula November. The following video is a short glance into what Hubble sees in the skies. For full video with details on types of nebulae and their name, Visit the link in description, named Hubble's Nebulae.
Towards the end of its life, stars like our Sun releases the outer shell of gas to form planetary nebula. One such nebula is NGC 2438. Captured by Hubble's Wide Field Camera 2, one of camera's four detectors gave a magnified view which was then shrunk to match the other three. This nebula lies in the foreground of star cluster M46, aka NGC 2437. Do you like a good mystery? Well, here's one in the middle of N44, the Emission Nebula. The huge gap in the middle, dubbed as Superbubble, spans 250 light years across and could not be explained by any known phenomena, including stellar winds. Ant, in space. Seen from ground telescopes, this so-called ant nebula resembles the head and thorax of an ant. But the Hubble image gives 10 times more detail, revealing it as a pair of fiery lobes protruding from a dying sun-like star. The unusual red rectangle nebula is powered by aging binary stars at its center. It is thought to be a torus shape, seen edge on from Earth. The color of the nebula is not yet understood, but is thought to be produced by hydrocarbons. NASA Exoplanets As time goes by, the number of exoplanets discovered goes up. Currently we are at 4,551 exoplanets, including the recent discovery of TOI 2285b, a planet 19.5 times bigger than Earth, that orbits its star every 27 days. The system is 138 light-years away from Earth. Another discovery, also a super-Earth, with 2.5 times the mass of our home planet and 1.5 times the radius, a little less dense than Earth, orbits a G-class star. This exoplanet orbits its star every 0.9 days. From super-Earth to Earth-like, this exoplanet is very similar to Earth, both by mass and radius. It orbits a G-class star, similar to Sun but lighter, in less than a day. The system is located 2,000 light-years away from us. And, one for the gas giant flavor, in a system 1200 light-years away, TOI 3362b, a gas giant exoplanet larger than Jupiter, orbits a F-type star 50% larger than our Sun, in 18 days. Its orbital eccentricity is 0.82, meaning a highly elliptical orbit. It gets 10 times closer to the star than Earth gets to Sun. The upcoming launch of Webb Telescope, is just a start in its journey of tough six months. The first 29 days are very crucial to confirm the mission's success. With hundreds of points of failures, Webb has to fly a million miles, deploying and unfolding precisely. Chandra Observatory The Jellyfish Nebula, aka, IC443, is a supernova remnant lying at 5,000 light-years from Earth. Observations from Chandra showed, the supernova that created the nebula might have also formed a pulsar, J0617, in the southern region of this nebula. The inset image shows close-up of that region, with optical data from digitized sky survey combined with X-ray data from Chandra. As Chandra studies a star in Pisces, there lies a pair of interacting galaxies, known as CGCG 436030. The bright star appears to be caught in the middle, but it is actually within our galaxy, Milky Way. The interacting galaxies are 400 million light-years away from us. Located at 3.9 billion light-years, galaxy cluster RXJ1532, glows in X-rays with a quadrillion solar masses. Lies at its center is a supermassive black hole, that releases jets and produces cavities in interstellar gas, preventing active star formation. The cavities are each about 100,000 light-years, roughly the width of Milky Way. ESA Integral Why should Hubble have all the fun? ESA Integral shared a fun illustration, of how the team got the observatory in control, after being nearly lost in space. Kudos to the teams working with Integral. Webb Telescope, NASA Simulated data is the best way to get close before actual data arrives. In NASA's latest blog post, Webb's near-cam instrument lead, Marsha Reek, explains her excitement to compare this simulated data, with real data after launch. Access the blog post, from the link in description. As mentioned earlier, the first 29 days are of high importance for Webb. 
the first 29 days from launch, leading to Webb's final destination has been made into an amazing video by Webb Telescope Team. The link to this video, 29 Days on the Edge, is available in description. Webb Telescope, ESA We just got a week over a month before Webb Telescope rides to space. In the meantime, Webb Telescope Team has shared the unboxing of Webb Inside Clean Room. Enjoy! Space Telescope Science Institute Astronomers using Keck Observatory, observed a system with a Jupiter-like planet, orbiting a white dwarf. This confirms that, planets at larger distances can survive a star's death, and continue to orbit. Will this be the fate of our solar system? Roman Space Telescope will help further investigate, by directly imaging this system, located near the center of our Milky Way. Astronomers from Noir Lab teamed up with geologists from California State University to study what's called a contaminated white dwarf. They observed the atmospheres of 23 white dwarfs, all within 650 light years from Sun, that were polluted with material from asteroids and rocky bodies that once orbited the star. Based on the observations, they found some rock types that are not common in our solar system and do not have an equivalent known to us, leading them to create names such as Periclase Dunites. In case you missed it, watch the public lecture by Dr. Seth Ann Howard, of Washington Academy of Sciences, as she covers the exciting and enchanting history of women in STEM. You know where to find the link. From the previous episodes of Space Telescopes, you might have known that Webb has four instruments on board, but there are actually six major components that make up these instruments. They are, cameras, spectrographs, coronagraphs, microshutter arrays, integral field units, aperture masks. We'll try and make a short video on them. That's it for this video. Thanks to these engineering marvels, opening windows to the universe, and thanks to you friends for your patience. See you next week.